What's up, YouTube? It's SK Shuyan. I'm bringing you Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi Battle number 23. Uh, gonna be going up against Nico. Uh, it's kind of an old battle. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded. I'm uh, sorry about that, but I'm back! And I'm gonna be starting off with Greninja, and he's gonna start off with E Bezel. Um, Dark Aura, of course. My uh, Greninja's gonna use Substitute. Wanna see what he wants to do. Uh, he's gonna use Oblivion Wing. I'm like, okay, kind of, kind of expected, because maybe he thought I was gonna use Ice Beam, get his HP back, or maybe he just thought I was gonna switch out. Oblivion Wing is the better play anyway. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna switch out my Greninja and bring in Blastoise. Most because it has a higher special defense. Uh, might be the highest special defense on my team. I'm not for sure. But I'm gonna leave him in. Uh, Mega Evolve, Mega Blastoise. Uh, hopefully it can do something, cause uh, I don't remember this battle too much. I uh, watched it a month ago. Yeah, yeah, about a month ago. I don't remember. Anyway, Tap Five Play does a lot, and I miss Dragon Tail. So he's gonna end up beating my Blastoise. It did nothing, unfortunately. Uh, so for the Mega Blastoise fans, I'm sorry I let you down right there. So now I'm going to switch in my Haxorus. Uh, everyone knows my Haxorus is a beast. All I need to really do is Dragon Dance once and perhaps use uh, Swords Dance and I'll be able to KO any Pokemon on his team, whether it resists me, whether it's a fairy, whatever, it doesn't even matter. So I'm going to Dragon Claw. Uh, should have just Source Dance. I don't know why I didn't. This Foul Play is going to take me out. Uh, that's why I did. This Foul Play is going to take me out. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I've lost two Pokemon to this event, so I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to switch my Greninja back in. Um, my Greninja is physical. Uh, it is, uh, you know, it does not have the hidden ability, it has Torrent. So, don't expect any kind of change going on. That's not going to happen. But anyway, I take down this Evelto with Smackdown. I probably should have had Greninja in in the first place to take out his Evelto. I don't know why I switched. I should have just stayed in. So, he's going to bring in Roseray and use Grass Whistle. And I was unaware that Grass Whistle can't go through a substitute. I, I did not even know that could even happen. That actually shocked me so much. But anyway, he's going to use Grass Whistle again. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he misclicked. But um, still asleep. He's going to Giga Drain. And there's no point of me switching out because, I mean, I could, but my Greninja's sleep with only 9 HP. And I don't want him to be asleep with that. And I switched out. <sighs> Why did I do that? Anyway, he's going to Giga Drain. Um, I'm switching to Talifane. He's going to Giga Drain. Then he's going to switch his Rose right out. Uh, he's going to bring in Quajutsu, which is his Greninja. And I'm just going to go straight for a Brave Bird. Um, knowing that it's going to just do a lot of damage to whatever anyway. There was no sense in not doing it. And I'm just going to Brave Bird again. Just knock out his Greninja. So that's two Pokemon down on his side. I kind of feel a little bit better about this battle. Thank you, Talon Flame, for coming in, getting rid of that Greninja for me. So now that I don't have to worry about that, he's gonna bring in his Pupitar, and I know I can't stay in no matter what. So I'm gonna switch my Talon Flame out and bring in Greninja's Death Fodder because it's asleep, can't do anything, and it's you know payback. So of course, gonna knock me out. So. I only have three Pokemon left. It's got four left. And I can bring in my Venusaur. So I'm going to use Sleep Powder. I missed. I don't even know why I did Sleep Powder. I should have just went for the Grass type move. And then I just Sleep Powder again. Maybe I'm trying to get him to switch out. Uh, seeing that it would be it would be better for me if he does kind of switch out so I can hit something else other than his people turn because I know I can beat it and he his shed skin comes and he gets out of being asleep and he paybacks again and now I'm just being real dumb with my moves what was I thinking in this battle 
So I leave seed and now he's gonna thrash me. That's gonna take down uh, half of what I've had left. My leech seed is gonna get some damage back. I know why I was using sleep powder. I was believing he was going to switch out because of the uh, because of the four times of weakness that my Venusaur has over uh, Peepertar. <laughs> But he stayed in, so that's why I kept using sleep powder. So now he's confused from thrash. My phone just went off, don't even worry about that. So now he's confused from thrash. And I'm just going to get some leech seed back. And I'm going to uh, return my Venusaur because I can't really stay in. I mean, I could, but I'm like, okay. He has that Rose Ray that I can barely do anything to. So I'm just going to bring my Ambor in and I'm going to try to at least get my Ambor up with a lot of speed and then that way my Ambor can uh, knock out whatever he wants to bring in. So I power up punch and I'm taking him out. Uh, not, well, I basically did take him out. I didn't really mean to. I didn't think my power up punch would do that much damage. So now he's going to bring in uh, his Glorok. Glorok? 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 It's something, I don't know. But he makes his evolve and smell Charizard. And he's going to bring the drop, of course. And he's going to use Dragon Rage. Ah, yeah. You use Dragon Rage. Since, you know, I was sitting here not doing the right kind of moves anyway. That works for me. Flame Charge him. Get some speed up. Uh, my goal is to be faster than all of his Pokemon using Flame Charge. Um, that's not really gonna work out for me. Um, just the next flame charge takes out his Charizard. I got a critical hit with that, which is kind of good for me. But at the same time, my Ember is like the slowest thing alive, and this, of course, is not gonna outspeed this Talon Flame. Uh, in the back of my mind, I was like, it's gonna outspeed, and then I was like, no, it's not gonna outspeed. That heat crash would have did a lot of damage though. But anyway, he uses Fly. Uh, it's gonna knock out Ambor, of course. The Ambor is not gonna uh, take that. So now I'm gonna bring in my Talon Flame, and I have to roost up because my Talon Flame has already been in battle. It's already taken damage. Um, he's gonna use Fly, and I'm like, cool. He can, you know, use Fly. Sunlight's gonna fade, and this, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, use regular Flame Charge. I'm faster than him, so it doesn't really matter. I know I just couldn't hit him. So that's gonna bring me, he's gonna hit me with the fly and I'm gonna Brave Bird, see how much damage I can get on him. Hopefully I can get him down to half. And I do. So he's gonna use Acrobatics and I'm like, no. And he just takes out my Talon Flame. Maybe I should have Acrobatics on my Talon Flame, I don't know. So I have to switch in Venusaur. Venusaur, of course, is not gonna be able to beat this Talon Flame. I mean, I don't know, maybe I should just try anyway, not really doubt my Venus are. So I'm going to use Sleep Power, it's going to put his Talon Flame to sleep, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, maybe there is hope for Venus are to win this, because if I can uh, use Sleep Powder and then use Leech Seed, get some kind of HP going on, I can perhaps beat his Rose Raid that's still left. So I use Leech Seed, and I miss, so I, let's try this again, Talon Flame to sleep. I can just, all I need is just some of my HP back. I can better stand a chance against his Rose Ray. So I get some of my HP back. That brings me out of the red into the yellow. It's going to flame charge, and that's going to knock out my Venusaur. And that's going to be the battle. So, as you all can see, I made some pretty bad moves in this battle. Uh, watching it now, I'm like, why did I make this stuff? Like, like, come on, like, what what was I really thinking? I could have won this, and I just really, really messed this up for myself. But Nico's a good battler, and Nico, thank you for this battle as well. I look forward to battling you in the future. I probably do battling you in the future. I have, like, 40, 50 videos still ready to be uploaded. So, once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, please comment in this. Please tell me how much of an idiot I was with the moves I made. Also, like, comment, and subscribe to me. Thank you for watching. SK Shuyin out.